Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is Atlas Fallen, Reign of Sand, a game that got released a couple of months ago. It got pretty good reviews, not great, but not so bad. So it's one of these action kind of games, new IP, totally new IP. So uh, it did pretty well when it comes to reviews, like I said. Now this game just got added to Game Pass yesterday, I think. It's available on both Xbox and PC Game Pass, so you can give it a try. It's also available on PlayStation, you can buy it there if you want. Um, today I'm going to be checking this game on Xbox Series X, we'll be looking at this game's graphics, performance, gameplay, all that kind of stuff as always. So without any further ado, let's actually press that A button to start. Uh, I did play this game for a few minutes just to give it a try, uh, just to check if it actually works. But before we get into the gameplay, let's check settings, but because there's some settings there. Uh, you can choose between performance and quality mode. Uh, however, I can tell you straight away, at least at the very beginning of the game, the uh, performance mode looks pretty good, especially that you can use the Super Resolution 2 um, uh, upscaling technology, and the game looks really, really good, right, uh, when it comes to image quality and stuff. So. Let's leave it at that. Um, yeah, performance, AMD, fidelity, super resolution set. By the way, I did disable chromatic aberration because I don't like it. But hey, it's up to you. Also, I did reduce motion blur because, uh, yeah, I mean, if, if a game is a 60 FPS game, no need for that. Um, right, so let's start the game and see what it's all about. Let's play on normal. Um, this is literally the very beginning of the game. Um, as you can see, the loading speeds are very, very quick. The life source of our world sleeps in the sands. You know what? I will skip cutscenes because you are not here to watch cutscenes. So let's actually get to the meat and potatoes. Where am I? And image quality is really good. It's very sharp. Uh, I don't necessarily see any artifacts or anything like that. And um, so that's very good news. Uh, I'm not sure what engine this game is using. Uh, yeah, I don't want to invert the camera. Okay. So yeah. Mm, there you go. The, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on over here, a lot of uh, graphics effects and stuff, uh, a lot of explosions uh, and transparencies and whatever, right, uh, fog, uh, fire, and it's stable 60 frames per second, I mean, for the most part, right, and there might be some stutters, slight stutters here and then, nothing major. As you can see, this reminds me of God of War a little bit uh, at the very beginning. You know, you've got this um, axe and you slash enemies and stuff. It's actually quite satisfying. I'm not sure if you noticed, there was a little bit of a stutter there. Nothing major, but generally speaking, performance is pretty good. So you can run. Yeah, you, you've got all these effects that have been going on. The game is actually pretty stable. I'm actually pretty surprised that the game is actually pretty sharp. Because, uh, like I said, um, AMD FSR 2 even uh, sometimes um, introduces um, artifacting and that kind of stuff. But I don't really see that, at least not here, initially, right? But the first impression is, and that's what this video is really all about. The first impression is actually pretty good. Yeah. Frame rate looks good, it's pretty smooth. Oh, there was a little bit of stutter there. So, there we go. So, it's not like super super ultra smooth but it's smooth for the most part so once again that voice unless you digital oh, foundry you, you probably won't be bothered with um, that as much 
There we go. There's more of them now. Yeah, it's kind of cool that at least in this particular battle scene, you've got this huge ha I mean, it's not a hammer, it's an axe. And you can slay enemies, like from the distance too. So you've got um, that... Uh, Let's more of them. This place. Okay, I'm we got healthy. some superpowers. Okay, let's do it. Bam. Yeah, even with these Wait. huge explosions and that, that kind happened. of stuff, Every like time. I don't necessarily see any frame rate drops, and uh, there is a little bit of a pop up if you notice. Like if you look at like in front of the car character, you can see some of the. Uh, like bushes popping up uh, and disappearing here and there, but um, it's nothing major. Although, you know, I remember when this uh, generation was first introduced that we would not get that at all. We would not get loading times and all that kind of marketing speech hint. But generally speaking, oh shit, I don't think we... I don't think we've got much to complain about. Uh, sure, PCs are more powerful, but uh, I mean, but you have to pay more, I guess, too. So, uh, and another little bit of. I think these are traversal st starters, like when they load the new thing. So. Who are you? Who are you? Alright, so who are you? That's why they asked. Uh, I am somebody... Okay, so I don't really... I mean, you can randomize. Uh, sure, but you know what? I'll just go with uh, uh, this guy, I guess. Uh, maybe this one. No, not really. This guy? No. An old guy. I'm not that old. Let's just go with this one, right? Um, you can g choose voice. Knowledge for knowledge. The world. Oh, will that's. Change. One way. You raised me to see the world differently. Okay, let's just um, challenge what I knew. So, if you are Following into customizing question. your characters and stuff, you can do it. I'll just skip it. <laughs> Uh, her voice. Hey, hey. Okay. The wraiths attacked. You were struck down. We managed to get you back here. And uh, the others? Many of us were lost. We recovered the bodies. But Reeve. Yeah, graphics Tracker actually is pretty missing. good. And this is like a smaller studio. They're still um, out there. Made that Amongst game. Was it Deck 13? Yes. And perhaps somebody else. Life. Then we must go. Yeah, Impossible. let's just I keep speak that. Indeed. In the upper camp. For Thelos' sake, be careful. Okay, so okay, so now there is a little bit of a open world uh, to that game, I guess. My you can explore things. What that was that? When our caravan changed route, even more so, um, I have heard that it was on the Queen's orders. In the middle of the day, I would have warned them about this yeah. close territory. So graphics-wise, Captain has his eye on me. It's not held late, I that's for sure. Not to attract attention, but it if looks pretty good. Born and unnamed. Okay, I'm noticing some frame rate drops here and there, unfortunately, so that's a, my mission to teach a bit of a bummer. Hope Not sure over. if that's a GPU issue or what. You know what, let's actually check if we can just change settings here. Yeah, let's turn off FSR and see how that game looks. You know, it still looks pretty good. The sands are watching us. 
the storm is taunting us. Yeah, but there seems to be a more of a more issues performance issues. So let's actually turn that on again. Yeah, I don't really see much of a difference, to be honest with you. So I'm not sure what that yeah. what that's all about. Not water with the trace of food. Um, Just a pinch of salt. Oh, who maybe you have to you restart have the game or something. Who knows? So as you can see, uh, exploration is actually a thing over here. Um, hey, you two, get moving! First time I see a rig close up. It's not like super smooth 60 frames per second at least here in the camp so I, I'm guessing it must have something to do with the CPU because uh, the previous uh, section was actually pretty packed with graphics eff effects and everything and it was pretty smooth so I guess it's more about like number of objects and PCs and stuff but uh, you will notice these uh, stutters just uh, like occasionally it's not like it's jittery all the time oh there we go there was a, lot, a little bit of stutter here so not sure what's that all about um yeah but looks like um generally speaking the game is pretty smooth there's captain over here um and obviously they dispute the new route. Talk amongst themselves. I must admit my own doubts over the Queen's orders. So, uh, there's also a quality mode over here. So, let's switch it to quality mode. Oh, game needs to re restart. Ah, uh, okay, I'll skip it. Not going to be restarting it. Um, but um, the game is pretty sharp. So, like quality mode, um, I mean, the performance mode offers very sharp image quality. So, I don't even see why would you want to switch to quality, to quality mode, which is 30 frames per second. Maybe the graphics is a little bit better. You know what? Let's just actually switch it and quickly and see if it actually quality mode. Apply. Okay, so apply. All right, so let's so we'll spell our doom. Let's Scarab. actually restart it. Yeah, let's restart it and see how that goes. Okay, start, continue. Ok, 
continue yeah it's 30 frames per second and to be honest with you i don't really see much of a difference when it comes to graphics so i really don't understand why would you want to use quality mode like makes no sense like i don't really I mean, you know, Digital Foundry probably will tell you that there's like few pixels more in quality mode, but like um, playing the game, you don't even notice that much. So just stick to performance mode, select uh, FSR2 and you'll be good um, because you will be getting both good graphics, uh, high uh, image quality and 60 frames per second for the most part. It, but here is just... 30 frames per second and it's not that great like you know so anyway guys listen that's the video i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section below what you think about it and um are you planning to play this game have you played this game let me know in the comment section below and um i'll see you in the next one take care